internet and welcome back to another one of my unboxing videos. This time for you I have as you can see in the title above and the little image below the Icons of the Realms Classic Creatures box. I'm a little bit late on this as I was trying to support my local game store and they took forever to get this in. Uh, even though I'd asked for it months before the release uh, they also even though I could have gotten it on Amazon, probably for a slightly cheaper, and then also with two-day shipping via Prime and had it in hand. Uh, the reason I wanted to get it from my game store was because you're supposed to get a free gift if you pre-ordered it at the game store. Now, I tried to pre-order, but I think I missed the deadline by like a few minutes, but or, you know, by like a day or two, rather. The pre-order bonus you got from a local game store was the classic coloration Demogorgon, but the smaller version that was similar to the original Demogorgon kind of mi minifigure that you see in Stranger Things. So it was that design, but painted and colored like the classic Demogorgon that's here in this box. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't give me that either, so I kind of just got screwed on that. But that being said, this is a really cool concept. This again, I'll get into the unboxing in a second. We've got, you know, we can show them all off over here. Uh, so this is basically, uh, how many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine minis in here. Uh, and I don't believe there's any paperwork either. So I do see a, oh, there's a, there's a base over here for the purple worm that you can see from the back. But basically you can kind of make out the art on the sides there. I don't think I can get it. Eh, can I get it? And then here, basically it is the classic art. Does it have any? Oh, uh, here we go. The D&D Icons of the Realms Classic Creatures box set features nine reimagined iconic monsters from the Dungeons & Dragons first edition manual. So we have in here Demogorgon, Purple Worm, Ogre, two different orcs, Troll, two Sahuagans, and an Owlbear. So, uh, it was a really cool concept to see these old school takes on monsters that are still used to this day, all contained within 5th edition in one form or another. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Whether that be uh, in the monster manual itself or contained within a supplemental book or an adventure, for instance, Demogorgon is contained in uh, Out of the Abyss as a monster. The stat block is in the back. Uh, as one of the you know as one of the demon lords so let's go ahead and speaking of demogorgon as you can see things are nicely packaged in these annoying plastic containers and sorry for the mic there we go so here we can see demogorgon so to give you uh here's a regular size mini to give you a size comparison right so here's a i think this is a this is a water cultist from the Princess of the Apocalypse set. So as far as size goes, we can see the difference. This is a huge sized mini. It takes up three by three on the grid. And you can see here we've got the uh, tentacle arms here, two tentacle arms, and then the two tentacle tail of the Demogorgon in the kind of classic green. And then we've got our blue and red baboon heads here for our Demogorgon. So we're gonna put the Demogorgon off to the side so we can get into some of these other ones. So, uh, did I lose the... Oh, it's stuck to the inside of the box here and it's taped down. There's two pieces of scotch tape in here holding down the base for the purple worm. So let's go ahead and get that out. So, let's take off the tape. Let's see? Purple worm. It has two little pegs. I think you guys can make those out. That is to attach it. So why don't we go ahead and take that one out as well. I'd be interested, you know, I never played D&D back in the first edition days. I didn't even play in the second edition days. Uh, I am a three, three, five. Sorry for this, guys. Oh, come on. Sorry. A three, three, five baby. Uh, so, uh, being able to get monsters and minis from back in the day is pretty cool. 
So here we can see our purple worm. Uh, we can see our purple worm mouth here. Uh, we've got this nice little erupting rock base, and this is actually, if we fit him on the base here, this is actually a colossal or a gargantuan uh, monster. If we can get him to click in. I don't know if there's a preference to one side or another, but he takes up four by four on the grid here. Again, here's your standard mini regular size uh, humanoid medium creature mini for size comparison. So yeah, you can see we've got some broken rocks here coming out around the base. And we've kind of got our pinkish purple hide, our two big eyes, and then our creepy lamprey-like mouth. All right, so what else do we have? We have an ogre mage, also known as an oni. So we can see here, here's again, ogre mage. And it's this blue, you can see that it's got a, I don't know if you can make that out, it's still coming to focus or not. But there's a horn there. It's kind of got the, the two large tusks on the bottom, similar to an oni mask, if you're familiar with what that looks like. But again, it's got your kind of uh, naginata or, or whatever the correct term is for this kind of uh, martial arts themed pole arm here. And we kind of have some, you know, martial arts style pants. We have open toes here. We kind of have our little sash belt here. Very cool. We've got some arm guards. Um, very different looking than like the new Onis in the 5e Monster Manual have a very sinister look to them. Uh, for whatever reason, the troll is attached via, not all of them, also, the other ones made sense because they were so big, are attached by these twist ties. For some reason, the troll is as well. The owlbear is not. So let's go ahead and pop out our troll. Now this one is very, like, look at how spindly it is, right? Again, here's our, our little medium creature. But like, look at this. Like, it's very, like you can see it ribs. I don't know if you can make that out on the camera there, but like, very gaunt looking this classic troll i mean just as a comparison to the ogre right look at the the difference there all right we have a sahu again which honestly hasn't really changed too much right so we've got this is kind of your fish creature from the black lagoon type creatures wielding a trident we've got some spiky spines down his back and he's got a spear or a harpoon in this hand. Um, that one, I have the, I don't think I have one in reach. The 5e Sahuagin minis look more or less the same. And then this is like a Sahuagin priest. So we can see he's kind of got more of like this, uh, their sort of signature like lobster claw type staff. Uh, and this one has obviously, this guy's more of your warrior, maybe your fisherman type. And this guy's kind of got a little more, I don't know, gives me more of a priest type vibe. They both just say on the base, Sahuagin, so it doesn't actually distinguish like warrior versus priest, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. So we have those guys. Those are again, medium sized creatures. Then we have an orc and these orcs are your, again, your 1E orcs, which are pig faced. Right, so I don't know if you'll be able to make out that from the mini here, because I don't know when it's, there we go. So you can kind of see he's got like a pig snout there. And this orc's got the, still got the tusks and the pig snout. And he's got his very horribly bent spear, which I'm gonna have to straighten out. Uh, and then his <laughs> horribly bent shield as well. Look at that, it's like bent right over onto his leg. So we've got this kind of orc warrior. And then we have an orc, archer here so he's again got he basically looks more that'll go into focus he looks more side this guy out of the way he looks more like a like a werebore than he does an actual orc so uh, and again he's just your archer type and then last but certainly not least probably one of my favorites of this whole collection 
Yeah, I'm gonna come out. Because the back spine is actually up through the plastic, which is not supposed to happen. You can see I'm really wrenching on this. Yeah, the plastic bubbled up like they put it in on an angle. I don't want to break it, but it's really in there. Oh well, time for a little surgery. Seriously, like, I don't know if you can see this here. It's like right, um, It's stuck like up inside the plastic here. So then it... Ugh. That is not supposed to happen. Holy shit, that was stuck in there. But anyway, <laughs> to my point from before, the one I'm most excited about is the 1E Owl Bear. Look at how doofy this thing looks. Like, I mean, it would, don't get me wrong, like, this thing coming down the alleyway at you would be like in a dark alley. This thing would be freaking terrifying. Again, here's your comparison. But it looks, I guess this one was supposed to be more owl than bear. Or no, I guess more bat. I really don't even know. More bear than owl? Because it's like weirdly kind of lanky and like, look at this long ass tail. Right? Oh, well, finally, we're the first one we've got like perfectly in focus is this owl bear. So it's got like bears don't have a tail like this. Owls have tail feathers, but they don't look like that. So that's kind of a wonky thing. We've got these these big claws, and you can kind of I don't know if you can make out the face there. But it's like it's kind of doofy, but I love it and like the art. Again, if you're familiar with the original art, uh, I would grab all of them and put them here in frame, but one of my orcs shot across the screen there uh, in the fit to free the owl bear from its packaging. Um, I'll put everybody as missed as we can here in frame. So, there you have it, guys. The Icons of the Realm Classic Creature Box Set. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the, the comments below about this. Again, sorry for your ears for those of you who had to watch me struggle to get the owl bear out of the packaging. But hey, it's an unboxing, so you should at least be aware if you order one of these or pick one up yourself that you may have the same issue I had. You may not, but if you do, you at least been warned about it. Uh, what do you guys think about this? So... Uh, right at the bottom here, it says, Bring the two-headed classic Demogorgon to your tabletop and hypnotize adventurers like never before. Or surprise your party with a gigantic purple worm, hungry and ready to make any creature its next meal. Uh, so it says that on both sides. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that this was a cool idea? It seemed kind of weird and out of place, which is another reason why I had to have it. Because, like, these guys are kind of crazy... And, uh, like, wh whatever possessed them to do this, I don't know. But I love it. And I'm curious to see what you guys think. Especially more of you older gamers who played back in 1st Edition and 2nd Edition. Would you be down to get more of these in? More of these classic, like, classic creature set number, or volume 2. With more minis, pre-painted minis from WizKids. In, uh, you know, in the design of what the creatures look like in the older editions of the monster menu or what do you guys think about potentially getting these unpainted um because uh, you know back in the day you had a lot of these were uh most i feel like most of these were probably unpainted the original versions if they even had minis of them at all so like i said i'm curious to see what you guys think so let me know in the comments below and i'll see you next time